Hi, Aquarius. It's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, it looks like um, a lot of this energy for you is about um, your means, okay, your your money, um, maybe your financial status. And for some of you, it's going to relate in terms of um, love, and, and I'll try to relate it to both, okay, for whatever you came for. Uh, if this is a, a money situation, Aquarius, what I am reading here is that some of you keep getting yourselves in a temporary state of lack of not having enough of having to kind of pull yourself out of the trenches here the cards want you to get to a place of being systematic practical and logical about money money matters and getting to these uh financial goals this independent nature um that you want getting to a place of where your money is working for you the king of pentacles here so the only way you're going to do that, Aquarius says the cards, is if you are more practical, logical, rational with um, your money. Uh, you have to have some system. Systematically, you, I put, I don't know, you put $200 away a month or more. Uh, you know, you don't eat out on certain days. You can't do this. You have to have some system in terms of uh, what you're doing and how you're doing it so that you can see growth so that your money is working for you uh so that you can be the king of pentacles here for some of you in love you have um there's you and someone else have been in a place of um not talking not interacting not being together because you can't see eye to eye um it seems as if aquarius you are coming up as the queen of swords and then you have a king of pentacles here now for some of you the person of interest or the person you're coming to the reading for they're married or they're coupled or their obligation is elsewhere even if they're not happy they are in something okay and then for others of you it's just that this person may be kind of materialistic focused on money they've done a lot to get themselves in a, into a place of the king of pentacles therefore they're guarded in terms of who uh they choose to engage with uh in an emotional connection uh, so you guys don't see eye to eye they also could have something or someone from their past something that they feel obligated to to the point where they put that thing or that person before you okay uh, it seems as if you guys are in a place of ignoring each other not acknowledging neglecting each other with the five of uh, pentacles here um it says don't stay in that place don't rest in that place don't get comfortable in that place too long because if you do it's going to be very hard to get out of that place likewise in terms of your finances okay monday you might not have enough money but don't stay in that energy in that mindset of okay i just don't have enough i'm not going to have enough i don't know how to do it. get out of that uh, because money and uh, having it is one thing that you definitely can control here. So get out of that energy because if you stay there, it's going to be very hard to, to, to um, get rid of. And likewise, in terms of love, um, the advice here for you is the uh, Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles here. It says that um, there's a guardian angel working with you, guarding you, um, helping you to continue on a road of hard work perseverance seeing things through um you are getting some type of profit from something that you're doing whether it be job or your own business or something of that nature but it says keep going keep at it what you have to offer is um doing something over an extended amount of time therefore it is working and if you have been doing something for an extended amount of time and it is not working then you need to go back to the drawing board because then you'll start to lose power okay if you do something for a extended amount of, an extended amount of time and it is not working in terms of there's no production there's no work being produced or um in terms of what i mean by it's not working maybe you you're not getting a profit you're not getting clients or customers um, you've been doing the same thing over and over again, and you've been getting very little or nothing, then you need to go back to the drawing board because you don't want to become powerless. Okay. It's like you keep forcing your hand through, you know, 
you keep forcing maybe your hand on a brick wall thinking that the brick wall you know is going to shift or move you do that over a certain amount of time you're going to become powerless like i don't have any power to move this thing so some of you need to go back to the drawing board in terms of work uh in terms of uh, making something work here um the knight of pentacles also says that you know in love you things have been kind of become kind of a uh, mundane boring maybe uh routine rigid inject some fun especially if you're already in a committed relationship um if you're not then get out there uh, move around um inject fun in your life don't just you know always know don't always be in the energy of life is hard work i have to you know do all of these things in order to okay so um definitely be uh be balanced there with the knight of pentacles the outcome is the queen of swords and the hermit card all right so you're gonna have a shift in, in personality a shift in your own personal philosophy about yourself some of you have already had this shift or you're going through it uh, maybe a shift about being the third party to a love affair to uh, someone who's married or already in a connection. Um, you also may see something clearly. You also understand that, you know, you, you added value to somebody else's relationship, but they didn't add value to you. Um, you were added value, but it wasn't reciprocated. Okay no matter how you try to slice it and dice it you had fun times with this person they bought you a watch or whatever i don't know it still wasn't added value because you didn't get what you wanted it was one-sided uh it says you're gonna have a change of perspective and personality here because you now you're seeing because you were the king of uh the queen of swords um you cut something off the queen of swords is about cutting all ties with the past with something that was just not working and we just went through the whole spiel about something not working um she so this is what she did she does she is the uh executive you know she's the executive over her life so what do executives do typically they look over reports diagrams they look over the statistics and they say okay this isn't working so we're going to make changes here here and here and we're going to cut off or lay off or get rid of or transform and that's what you did in your life you looked over things and you said you know what this is not working for me this is not working um for the greater good only one person is uh happy or only one person is doing the work it could be me therefore you started to cut off cut out and that's why she yields that sword because it's double edge it first it comes first comes clarity in the mind and then secondly action also the queen of swords is sometimes she's she's kind of had the hard knock life in terms of love maybe career also um but definitely in love so much that it pushed her to spirituality and it's funny because the, the hermit card rests on the queen of swords so something some love relationship it could even be familiar it could be family it could be platonic it could be romantic but relationships have pushed you to wanting to have answers to the questions of your life of why this happened why they did that why they said this why would i meet this person why would i engage so um and that's why you're on this self-discovery journey you're understanding that you are the common denominator in all of your relationships okay therefore you can only control you your actions and how you think um and what you allow what you tolerate okay because aquarius most times are very tolerant therefore if you're tolerant you can be intolerant and that's when you get the queen of swords because she's intolerant now to maybe the bs the bullshit, right um, the Hierophant is at the bottom of the deck here. It says that um, also with the Justice card, somebody wants to apologize and they want to make something right or something will be made right. If there was unfair treatment, do expect uh, for the scales to be balanced. Um, if you're in a court uh, matter, legal situation, do expect for you to get what is owed to you, due to you. This could even be paying off debts for some of you. Okay, I just heard credit worthiness, especially with these pentacles here. Maybe even um, boosting credit score or um, more uh, savings. Okay, uh, just working to make ends meet, but not having rainy day money. Um, something about balance here. Um, also, you're going to get what is karmically due to you and other people involved in this situation will get what is karmically due to them. Someone could be experiencing karma, cause and effect. Okay. So um, 
what someone did, what they, you know, they caused uh, some effect to happen. Maybe with you, um, you could have learned about something also. Uh, therefore, the effects of that learning of that, um, of that new knowledge, um, it shifted, it shifted the energy uh, to where uh, there was a separation, there was a breakup, or there is a breakup, or there's just a breakdown in how you guys uh, communicate with one another. The Hierophant is also here. It says that you need to listen to that inner voice. Um, you have that platform or that foundation that you draw from um, already within, you know, inside of you. Okay, your tradition or something traditional. Um, you need to go back to it. Maybe some of you are studying religion and maybe spirituality or doing something religiously. It's about regimen, routine, and it's also could show up in your career and finance you need to do something routinely you need to have a regimen in terms of you know money money management how you spend where it goes what is growing what is not you know um therefore you you also might need to get guidance because the hierophant talks about guidance okay so if you need to go to a seminar class anything of that nature do so okay um so that you can be guided in the correct manner um going to an expert um going to a corporation some of you could get an uh, offer, offer to travel, uh, especially for work. Okay, and then we have the heart guardian showing up um, for the uh, angels and ancestors oracle deck. Let's talk about that. Now, I think that came up for you uh, previously. Some of you are just guarded, okay? You guarded, you've been through a lot. It's not a good time for you to, to let your guard down. You don't feel good about it. You don't uh, feel like um, you're going to get what you want. Okay. Um, yeah. It, it, so your heart is guarded surrounding, um, you know, love related issues. You know, uh, it could be family. It could be romantic. But make sure that you move forward with balance and understanding, a knowing, a new knowing um, about how you will, you know, um, what you will allow and what you won't allow. Tolerance coming up again. What you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. Um, it says love and let yourself be loved. Okay, some of you are super guarded, especially with the Queen of Swords because you have been through a lot. The Queen of Swords talks about, um, you know, maybe going through a love situation that pushes you towards spirituality. To, you know, somebody, you know, I don't know, I heard jaded. You can be so jaded. Or you can have a, a very skewed view of love now because of what someone did, said, is doing to you, okay? Um, let's get some cards in here to kind of um, clarify this. What do we have? What do we want to tell? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, there we are. You give 100%. Hold on. You give me 100% of you. I give you 10% of me. So... We talked about there being an imbalance, okay? Someone leaving you to do all the work. You did all the work. Something wasn't working. You added value to something or to a relationship or to a person. Let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. Expand your mind. Accept perspective. Your crown chakra. And it looks like you are doing that with the queen of swords and the hermit card. So you're expanding your mind and you're accepting perspective. Um it may be new knowledge to you that somebody is okay with having an extra marital affair or an extra relationship, you know, on top of already being in one. It, it is not uh, ideal for you. It's not something you want to be a part of or you were a part of it. And now you, you're seeing differently because the hermit does talk about uh, a change in personality perspective here. Um, so something's your, your crown chakra is being activated here. You got this card. You should buy that item, self-care. So if you can afford it, if it's not going to put you, you know, in your finances in the doghouse, then take some time to do something for yourself, self-care, okay? Um, somebody's saying, I don't want to go home. This could be you, Aquarius, or another person. Someone doesn't want to go home. They are not happy with the person that they are with. Um, they're not happy being alone. This is the holiday season. Some people are suffering from seasonal depression. Do get help. There are lots of free outlets out there. Someone has no intentions for this connection. Yeah, they had no intentions outside of maybe um, having sex with you, um, having good times with you, fun times with you. Uh, they had no intentions like, okay, I intend to maybe around the six-month mark, I'll pop the question. No, they didn't. It, no. 
it's just, you know, it's whimsical. It, it, we hook up here, we hook up there, you know, whatever. Um, some of you could be getting a new home. Sage, please. Okay. Um, so congratulations. Um, let's see what else we have to say for the Aquarius and then we'll wrap this up. This is a really good read in Aquarius. Just some practical advice here. You didn't have a lot of major, well, you did have a lot of major arcana uh, showing up under the deck, but um, no, you didn't have a lot of major arcana here. So it's all about you. Yeah. Your love feeds my big ego. So you were dealing with somebody who just like they're having their ego stroked. Maybe you were good you know at that and someone wants you to know look if you decide to stay it's on you like they're taking no responsibility no accountability for you know playing with you having no intentions for the relationship for the connection um someone does want to reconcile that they, they feel like you guys need to have a heart to heart we need to have a long talk okay but this person um they run off and on hot and cold you never know what you're going to get with them and you never know where you stand with them therefore it causes confusion and to not know is a, a very uh turbulent uh crazy place for an aquarius for the affirmation of the aquarius or you know, the air sign is i know or i think so um if um if you don't know where you stand in anything you know it will it will drive the aquarius um bonkers someone wants to propose marriage to you but they're so scared okay um yeah this could be happening with some uh, some of your people so women fall fall in love in the presence of and men fall in love in the absence of so you could be estranged from your person especially if it is a man a masculine energy now they're realizing that they're in love with you because there is absence. You knew you were in love with them when you were with them, when you were in the presence of them, when, they, when you saw them every single day. Um, so, so that could be happening. Yeah. All right. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down for you in the comments section. Okay. If you were dealing with someone who allowed you to do all the work, if you were the third party, let me know um, down in the comment section. Also, it helps other Aquarius to know that they were going through the same thing that another Aquarius was going through at the same time on the other side of the world. Isn't that kind of crazy or is it all that we're all linked together? Okay. Um, also, you can get your own personal reading um, if you go over to the website. Uh, you can also uh, take tarot classes with me. Um, get some takers for that. The, the first class is starting December 27th. Um, yeah, so we've got tarot classes. Uh, the link is below. You could learn the tarot with me. And um, you can catch me or find me on keen.com. Yep, keen.com. You could talk to me. You could have a 10-minute chat for $1.99. Yep, you could. Keen.com. Um, you can talk to me for 10 minutes for $1.99. Try king.com. The link is below. Follow the link so you can get the special. And keep in mind that I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night answering your questions, also doing a collective reading. Thank you, guys. Take care. Many blessings to you.